Alright, so what we're going to do here is make this update your status work. Uh, but before we do that, what I want to do is change this to the color white because you can barely see it. So let's go to our main.css. Under our status, do color colon pound f f f semicolon and save this. Now let's go back and refresh and you can see this has changed. So what we want to do now is go to our header.php and we want we're gonna add something here. What we want to add is the ID. We also want to get the ID so we can save it. Um uh, and I'll tell you why when we are in the status. So let's just do ID equal rows and then brackets then inside here we're going to put ID and inside here we also want to do session brackets and then ID we, want to, we just want to put equals ID and now that we have this, we go all the way down to session start and under here we want to do user underscore ID equals session bracket and ID and if we save this this should be good. What this basically is is just taking our ID and our you and our email and saving it because in the uh, home.php every time we do a post or update your status we want it to update only the user that the status belongs to. Um, so now what we want to do is go to home.php and under header.php we're basically we're gonna get the uh, session so do our PHP tags and we're gonna do our if statement so if is set we're checking if the button has been pressed so if Post and post is submit BTN. Submit BTN. If post, we want to we want to include the database. So include script slash db dot any dot php once we have that included we want to create a variable called get id and we're going to set this equals to the user id underscore id and this user id is the same one we created here in our header so user id so in our home it's just telling the, it's just telling get id to get the user id so now what we want to do is do status status equals HTML and TTs. I think I spelled it right. And TTs the I. All right. Sorry about that. And inside here, we want to do mysql underscore real underscore escape underscore string. And the purpose of me doing this is we're making sure that the user is not posting any malicious stuff so they can't try to hack us. So that's what HTML entity does. It takes out all the HTML stuff and 
MySQL real escape string does like you're not allowed to put quotes or anything like that well you can but it, it, it just escapes that so now what we want to do here is put dollar sign underscore post uh, inside here we're going to put that as and our semicolon so now that we have that we're going to say if not empty status inside here is that is we're going to do add it to our if it basically this means if it's not empty we're going to add it to our um mysql or database so now what we want to do is query equals mysql underscore query i don't know what i just said i'm kind of confused right now sorry been a long day um inside here we're going to do insert into the statuses stat well, stat plus oh man sorry about this matter and here we're going to to user underscore ID the second one is status and we're going to do values first value is going to be variable get ID uh, the second value is going to be the statuses and I made a mistake here I added double quotes when it should be single and now I think this should work and once we do that we want to do a header location location home dot php let's save this and let's try it out so let's go to home let's refresh and let's add a oh let's go to our statuses first and as you can see we have no statuses at the moment uh, let's wait for it to load well you can see there's no statuses because it says table seems to be empty so if we post hello test and click post you don't see anything here and we go to our statuses it should be in and it is uh, as you can see we have one status with an ID of one and the user ID is zero and the reason why this might be zero is maybe because we didn't log out and then log back in but um let me just try that again let me log out let me log back in and let's update hello second test and post now let's go back and check it and 
as you can see this is working uh, the only reason this wasn't working here because we didn't log out and then logged in and in this we logged out and then logged back in so we got the user's ID that posted the status which is user2 which is me and if we go to our users we can see that I have the user ID too so you can see I have two so in the next video I'll show you how to show the, the statuses so thanks for watching and if you have any questions at all I know this been this has been a complicated tutorial but if you have any questions at all message me and I will try to help you out I've been so busy um, with work with new projects I'm making it's been so so hectic this whole month um, I will try to make more videos another thing guys is follow me at the last school on Twitter because I'll be informing you guys when I'm making tutorials when I can't and you can also ask me questions anything you guys want I will try to answer you uh, the best I can and if you guys have any recommendations on what else to do on this uh, website let me know I will do them so thanks for watching and stay tuned